and then I'm gonna get off my bike. Hello you lot, it is now 7 minutes past 8, I've got to be at swimming for half past, probably going to take me 10 minutes to drive so I'm going to be late, but I've had my AG1, I'm going to go swimming now, everything's packed, I ain't dressed yet, I'm going to go and get dressed now, so I'll see you when I get back for breakfast and that, this morning's breakfast, I've just got back from swimming and I'm having watermelon for breakfast, and I was praying for a seedless one and we got a seedless one, so it's fate. So I'm going to have half a melon and a mango for my breakfast this morning just because I fancy something a bit lighter and I'm going out for dinner with my friends this afternoon so I don't need a massive breakfast um, and it'll just help me rehydrate after swimming. I'm not showered yet, I'm going to have my breakfast first and then I'm going to get myself ready. I managed to do 42 lengths at swimming which I'm really pleased with because the last time I went, it's Tuesday today, I went on Sunday and I really struggled through it. I managed to do 38 but it took me ages to get to 20 and then all of a sudden I sort of like sped up a little bit. I don't know what was happening but yeah today I did 42 to make up for the two that I didn't do the other day. I'm pretty pleased with that. I have done 50 before and I'm really hoping that I do 50 again one day but I was like 15 minutes late today, so if I'd have been there the full hour, I think I would have done it. Anyway, I'm really pleased with how far I've come with swimming. And I didn't go to the gym yesterday, so that might be why I did a little bit better today as well, because I wasn't so tired. Um, I am going to go tomorrow though, and probably go Saturday, because I have like missed a couple of days, because I've not been very well. So yeah, I am now going to have my breakfast, and then I'm going to get ready. banana as well that I um, left in my bag <laughs> and forgot about it but it's all right under the skin so I'm gonna eat that instead of a mango so I need to eat more bananas I took the top off because that was a bit bruised I'm chilly I need a shower I'm cold now Anyone else eat their nanas like that? Like you eat it in half and then where their middle is, uh, half it again. Anyone else do that? Or just me? Oh, it's so cold. It's a bit bruised actually, it's nana. Half a banana, quarter of a banana, you know what's coming, total eclipse. So I just got out with a shower, now while my skin is still damp because I've washed my face in the shower, I use this super fine serum from e.l.f. Just do one to two drops and it helps to even out your skin tone. Now obviously I've got a really red nose, <laughs> so It does tend to help with that, just a little bit. I've been getting a lot, I've also been getting a lot more spots lately. So I've been using this tri triple acid thing from um, e.l.f. I actually got this free when I bought the moisturizers and this serum. And this you do like five drops, three to five drops, depending on how bad your skin is. I tend to get more spots at the side of my head and on my chin. It's probably best to use this at night, but I use it whenever, really. Just once a day though with that one. I'll show you what I use in the shower. Again, it's another e.l.f. one. 
it's the um, blemish breakthrough I can't get my words out today oh what I use this one which is an Australian brand which is also vegan this is good for blemishes as well because it has got tea tree in and I find that works for me so this is the moisturizer I use it's holy hydration face cream by elf and then I use this as a night cream which is the happy hydration cream and I think that has hemp in yes it does it's hemp oil and I do prefer to use the hemp one at night just because my skin just feels lots better when I've used that at night since I've been vegan I have had trouble finding shampoos and skincare that don't give me spots I was using faith in nature shampoo and I was and I tried the um, soap bars the soap bars were great for a while then all of a sudden they started call it causing me really bad spots on my forehead I knew it was that because as soon as I changed my shampoo it's cleared up I do have to spend a bit more on shampoo now but it's worth it because it's not tested on animals and they don't use any animal product in there at all so this is the one I prefer now it is expensive it's like seven pound a bottle it, and that's not like shampoo and conditioner you have to buy them separately so it's seven pound for the shampoo seven pound for the conditioner and it does last though you don't have to use a lot it's all right um and i find that it works for me it just works better for me and i find that elf skincare has been very gentle and it has helped my spots clear up at the side i still get them on the chin but i really just think that they're genuinely hormones because even before i was vegan i used to get those so that's just my skin type but I've been finding that these little things have been helping. Get this on and get my hair dry because I'm froze. <laughs> it's really cold, so we're layering up today. Long sleeve top, just a basic one from Primark. And then this um, little cardi, well, little cardi, it's long, is from Select Jeans from Primark. So I'm now going to blow dry my hair. I'm going to do my makeup. And then I might have the vegan toothpaste I use if anyone's interested is this one I have sensitive teeth and this is this is a lot like Sensodyne but the vegan version so yeah I like this one I'm about to leave to get my friend now I'm just gonna have a nectarine before I leave and then I'm gonna head to her I don't think she's awake yet so I'm gonna have to wake her as well so wish me luck The crunchy one juicy though so i had a vegan bean burger and it has this amazing burger sauce right so i'm saying i didn't really be seeing me throw up in the toilet because <laughs> jesus that woman's breath was dirty to the point yeah when i said and then when you said back was that the one that Simon stole on the dance floor yeah it goddamn was i said to him hey there you dirty man you know, what do you mean i went how can you smell like a dirty breath man no i never nah how far i smelled a bit of something to be honest, we're not snogging at <laughs> You smell nothing. 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 You smell You gotta tell him that story now, though. <laughs> <laughs> Girl mentioned last night. In case you see it. But me and Lucy walking back, I was like, hey, win win ago. for me. But years ago. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I will. Fucking hell. Yeah, and I walked back from the case and I was like, Oh, win win for me. Lisa's like, nah, win win for me. <laughs> I'm like, go on then. I'm an arse nugs. I'm going to eat a G snugs. You first. I'm not going to eat a G snugs. Craig went. Craig is a dirty. I went. Get lost. I snugs. Give me as well. So we both went the same way. Craig went. Get lost. I snugs. Give me as well. So we both went the same way. Craig went. Get lost. I snugs. Give me as well. So we both went the same way. So you know, um, on my live, I told you about Chris who used to jump the bins, and I used to have a crush on him. Well, so did I. Well, Eden liked him as well, but for the a different reason. Mine was his teeth. <laughs> Hers was for his jumping. <laughs> How weird is that? Though? You know, when you're kids, what you imagine, like my imagination of him was, oh, I fancied him because of his teeth. <laughs> who the f 
fucking right, man. Don't stop. <laughs> Who? Well, I locked <laughs> it. Well, I locked it because it's up the bin. So that's what that says about me. I locked it for his teeth. <laughs> when we said that, though, oh god. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm not <laughs> Christopher, you lucky man to have us both like you. <laughs> Back then, yeah. I mean, we were what seven, eight. Well, I. Twenty one. Can we get a bar? Thirty one. No, I'm joking. Yeah, but look at our seven or nine. I've known Eden since nursery. I know. Look here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or lucky, I think. No, I'm just kidding. Look at my day. Look here. Lucy's down here. Drinking tea. Hi. <laughs> Always drinking tea. What? what was that? You can see Noob in a bag. <laughs> I even got a bag. <laughs> you know about your wood dust bins. <laughs> I don't know what you've had in here either. So, uh, in here. <laughs> I was going to say something. Who dare fancy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question. <laughs> I don't know. Who did I fancy? No, was he fine? I never fancy Donald. <laughs> Fucking hell, I went out with my mum. Oh, that's mad, that was. I tell you who I fancy. I think we've been for like about a week. Yeah, I went out with him Friday. I bet his dad and everyone, I went out with him. I went around his yard and that. <laughs> Proper chilled on his bed. <laughs> they did nothing though. Like, they still is his ass. Yeah. Like, I ain't surprised at that mind. Yeah, Does that yeah. make sense? Like, this really? generation, 13 year olds, me from the line of bed, I can imagine what would happen. <laughs> yeah. But our generation, we'd lie in bed at 13 and I wouldn't think. No. Does that, like, I didn't think to touch him. Like, I don't know. I just, and they don't think like that either. Nah, nah, like. <laughs> silly as it sounds, like. So, um, not long got back from being out with the girls. I took Lucy home. It's about six o'clock now. So I'm just going to have some strawberries because obviously I had a really big dinner. So yeah, it was fun. I've got to edit tonight as well. Mm. And I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And probably I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging tomorrow as well because there's something I want to try. I saw it in the supermarket and I want to give it a go. So I'm going to do some cooking tomorrow. I thought I'd film that. I love strawberries. I love all fruit though. I particularly like the big red ones, you know. Ones that are really sweet and juicy. Mm. But yeah, I'm all wrapped up warm because it's quite cold. You know, September's a funny time, you know, because the houses are freezing, but if you're outside, it's not that cold. It's so weird. Today was a bit chilly. It was a bit rainy as well. Like one minute the sun was out, the next minute it was raining. When the sun was out, it was fine. I was alright in a woolly cardi. But when the sun had gone in, it was freezing and then it started to rain as well. So yeah, it's been a really good day. Um, I'll probably eat these strawberries to be honest. There's a whole pun it, but I'll probably eat the lot. And then I've got some leftover tomato soup that I made. I'm probably going to warm that back up and then maybe have a bread roll with it. But um, it'll just be a light tea tonight. So that's it from me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay loony. Bye-bye.